Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to our uh, Warlords Battlecry 2 Iron Man campaign. Let us jump right in. We're now level uh, 24. We've been doing some good work. Let's take a look at our stats. And go straight in. No events, but it doesn't bother us too much. We've got a good amount of crowns. And we have enough crowns where we could buy set items if that event is offered. But I'll only do it for the specific sets that we're working on. But you know what, we'll say more about that when that event actually, actually pops up. For now, it's gonna be time to take on Dragon's Maze. Which, I'm actually not sure how this is gonna go. We'll be playing as the Minotaurs. Only eight points. Of course, we're gonna pay crowns for extra points uh, for uh, being able to take units from our retinue. This is vexing. Cause we can take this and an archon, but then we won't have any thralls. Well, I'm gonna be a little bit unorthodox here, and I'm gonna do it this way. It just makes me too nervous going into what might be a very tough battle, because I think we're gonna need some scouting, just to make sure that things aren't too scary. But that also means that... Ooh, this is a very big map. That also means that this is going to be a very slow start. So, let me just position myself. Where is my... Hang on. It's very important for me to find my... Find my quarry. Okay. Can I get my quarry and my gold mine? Yes, and I can get an extra level 1 gold mine as well. Alright, because this is a slightly unorthodox start, at least, compared to what I've been doing, I'll wait up a bit longer before uh, skipping ahead. I'm gonna be scouting a bit with my units, it looks like we don't have Fog of War, so at least that is kind of helping us. Oh, crystal is always a welcome sight. So while you do that... Oh, right, we've got these, now we need to build a keep. I'll build one here. This one is gonna have guys continuously produced. And then we're going to have to build another one. Oh, here's another level 2 mine. Gold mine. Gold mines are, of course, useful early on for far-seeing. Which is less crucial in this map due to the lack of fog of war, but because it's such a huge map, it's still going to be helpful because I doubt we're going to... Explore the entire thing ourselves. Ooh, there's another level... Ooh, I thought this was a level 2 mine, but it's actually level 3, which is very good for us. Alright. Now immediately build another one. This one is going to be the one that advances and gets the other upgrades as well. How are you doing on that? Getting pretty close. I think you guys should stick together. Oh, also, the other thing I need to be doing is I need to be getting fire elementals. And you need to be building a lookout. So we are going to need far-seeing to tell us what to do.
And after that, just do the usual start stacking up the quarry. Huh. So far, haven't run into anything too scary. And with a name like Dragon's Maze, I'm not taking any chances. Alright. I am gonna save scum some fire elementals. Can we get another one straight away? Yes, we can. Outstanding. Alright, now just sit in that, uh... In that tower. And be safe. Okay. And you know what? Let's even build this early. Build it... Build it there, why not? Sure. Actually, no. You know what? No, no, no. Build it here. Research complete. Keep stacking up the quarry. Alright. What's the status on that? We're getting close. Alright, alright. I kind of don't want to skip, because I feel like something about this map is making me very nervous. I feel like the moment I put things on... Like, the moment I stop Research complete. commentating, something's gonna just jump out. Like, it's hard to describe the profound feeling of unease I have over this. With every moment that passes where I don't see anything, where I don't see any kind of enemy, it just makes me more and more nervous. We're making... We had a slow start, but... Making up for it... It being a slow start doesn't matter that much, because ultimately the main bottleneck isn't how quickly you can build your things, or how quickly you can upgrade your keep, but how quickly you can gather resources. So we got the mines first, that meant we had some resources built up. Which... Okay, here's uh, what's going on. We're fighting these guys. So let's put you in there. And what's the status on this? Uh, you're, you're getting there slowly. Alright, immediately get that. Wind of Sartek. Yeah, we need more stone. Oh, you didn't kill him in one hit? I'm surprised. Oh, another thing we should be doing is... Until we have our Minotaur Shamans... Fully uh, set up, we should definitely be making good use of our fire elementals. Research complete. Alright, I think now we can get. Yes, we can get that. It'll be a while before we can get a. Uh, the 640 stone that we need. Uh, should I... Uh, yeah, you know what, sure, I'll take this. If I take it early, even though it's a low-level mine, the crystal that it gives us will add up. It will add up over time. Alright. I serve only you, Master. Wait, yeah, stand here behind this. Hmm. I was 
was hoping that their arrows... There are dwarves! Okay, this could get really, really ugly. Things could get really bad. If there's more than one enemy. Oops, sorry, like, uh, I think I clicked outside of the window and I couldn't scroll with the arrow keys briefly, so I was trying to figure out what, what the deal was with that. Well, there's gold on the ground, but sadly only our hero would be able to pick it up. Uh, there's an item on the ground. Uh, must have been already there. I don't think any heroes of uh, don't think any heroes have been killed yet. All right, I think we can bring out another fire elemental. So let's do exactly that. Hang on. Sorry, I have virtual box open in a window, and Windows, the operating system, chose this precise moment to clutter my screen with a bunch of other messages. Now, what's going on here? Okay, it's just... It's just random units. That's fine. Um, less apprehensive about this map than I was earlier. But I'm still... Oh boy, what's going on? Purple tower outside of a blue mine. That could be a very bad sign. Could mean that they're on the same side. New buildings are available. Although there's some nice loot that we could get. Some nice level 3 mines. Alright, what do we need now? Well, we need all of the Minotaur Shamans in the world. Every single one of them. We'll rally them up there. Our fire element elementals are doing a good job. All right, what are you? What what are we gonna need from you guys? We're gonna need, we're definitely gonna need a whole bunch of crystal. Very nervous about all of this. Not even give me a, an ironworks. I'll build it down here, I guess. There's a bit more room. Where are we gonna put you guys? Uh, let's, let's get a bit of gold, you know? Where's our gold mine? There it is. All right. You know what? Let's actually rally the Minotaur Shamans over there. Let's build another henge. We're gonna need more stone before we can do that. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, things are. Things are. Uh... Interesting, to say the least. Yeah, all right. Now, there's a quarry. 
it's not a level three quarry, but if we can take it, you know what? We don't really need quarries anymore because we're past the point where we needed piles of stone. Minotaur shamans don't cost that much stone. It's a low enough amount that we can just sustain our production based on just what we have right now. All right. Oh, there's stuff in the northwest. You know what? We've got to we've got to go with these guys. Sorry, to the northeast. We've got to go with our guys. We've got to deal with these dwarves in the northeast. It already. Oh, what? What's this? Twenty-six fighter. Okay. Yeah, I don't think one Minotaur King and one Archon are gonna be able to take down a Dwarven fighter because those guys are pretty nasty. The good news is, pretty soon we're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have Minotaur shamans rolling off the assembly line. I mean, I I know that they're not cars, but for some reason I felt the urge to use that analogy. Stuff is being built in really weird positions. How far are we from far seeing? Not that far. How are our Minotaur sh shamans coming along? Well, it would help if you do it properly. Come on. And we can stop building these for now. Research complete. Uh, what was I doing? I was doing this. Uh, and I gotta make sure that my retinue isn't being mauled. Where are they coming from? Hang on. Like, is there something back there? Yeah, I, yeah, I've got to send these guys to, to deal with them. Yeah, that guy is going to take our... Oh, we never took that gold mine. Oh, of course. Of course it's going to be eagles. But not just eagles. I, they did indeed have stuff all the way back here. Huh. So maybe I should do something. You know what? No, no, no. Your buildings are under attack. I'll just end up getting my guys killed if I do that. Because I'll I'll lose track of them and then there we go. What are we dealing with? We're dealing with dwarves. Humans and more dwarves. The good news is that they're not all on the same side. And some of their attacks are running into each other. So that helps us a little bit. Right. What's the best way to deal with this map? Well, none of their heroes are dead. That's one thing that we've got to remedy as soon as we can. I don't think any of them are going to be fire immune, so... Your buildings are under attack. Pillar of fire is going to be... What are these guys doing? Anyway, I was going to say, Pillar of fire is going to be a pretty... Uh, reliable way to fight them. So... Your buildings are under attack. It, now... Look at their so their fire resistance is as long as they're not fire immune, that means we have a way to deal with them. We just need your troops. Are your buildings under are under attack. Uh, my, my troops. Oh no. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna build uh, another hinge. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up there. And 
gonna send a few of these forward. I'm gonna see if I can take down... I'm gonna see if four guys are enough to take down, uh... This hero. Research complete. Your troops are under attack. But these fire elementals have been really doing a good job dealing with the dealing with attackers coming in from there. All right, now, moment of truth. Four pillars of fire dead close to nothing. Well, it took out half of his health. Clearly we're gonna need more than that. Clearly we're gonna need more, so let's... Wait, oh no, 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 no. Well, let's wait until we can... Uh... Let's wait until we can... Uh... Take him down proper. Alright. So what's the uh, what's the lesson we learned? Is that we need a lot more Minotaur shamans. We're getting more of them. Getting more of them. I think ten is probably gonna be a good amount. This hinge? This hinge. This hinge. Really nervous, but I think... I think I see what I need to do. I need to take down... I need to take down the green hero because he is the one whose units are more consistently reaching my base. Purple is at a disadvantage because of the really bad terrain that the map started him with. And blue is just boxed in. He's having... Well, he's sending stuff out, like, but mostly flying units. Where are my... Have I already... Lost my Minotaur Shamans? No, they're, they're out here. Okay. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, who's, uh... Who's this? Oh, the blue hero, level 26, Ranger. I think we can actually take down a Ranger. I don't want to lose my crystal mine. Probably am, though. Your buildings are under attack. Because I don't think I've got anything that can get him quickly enough to interrupt this. So he is going to take it, unfortunately. Oh no. We stopped him because these guys interrupted him. Alright. Good job, uh... Good job, purple. Alright. Now... What sort of armor do you have? Also really, really nasty. Alright, let's 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 see if we can do something. Eight pillars of fire. Your troops are under attack. Ah, we came pretty close. We came really close. We came really, really close. Maybe let's try Ring of Fire. Did that do 
move anything? Ooh, somehow, with the, that last volley, we managed to snipe him down. Alright. That's... I'm not gonna complain about that. We did lose a few, but... Taking down a hero is always... Oh my god, like, look at this garbage. We've got, we've got to deal with green. We've got to deal with green. This is going to be a long, long battle, isn't it? Yeah, and they're going to have long-range units. At least it's not as bad as the Dark Wars. At least they don't also have exploding units. Yeah, we're gonna have to take down this ballista. Oh, what's what's going on here? An another attack. Yeah, we need to take these guys out because if we don't, they will be such a scourge. They will. You know, I think I made a mistake taking out the uh, blue hero because he could have helped keep some of these other guys in check. We really needed to take down these guys. And of, and of course, they've got eagles as well because they hate us. But I think we can devastate them if we get through because they also haven't started with great geography so they've had to build things in a really cramped and uh, hard to defend way while this is happening we need to keep an eye on our base and see what's coming our way because eventually purple is going to start sending attacks and when they do we need to be ready. Alright. Ooh, blue is helping us out a little bit. Got some units there. Ooh, there we go. Green hero has already taken some damage. We might be able to finish him off with our pillars of fire. Let's try and get his attention. Yeah, he's coming our way. Oh, almost. But it's very important for us to take him down, so I'm gonna... Let's, let's surround him a little bit. Maybe try Ring of Fire. An enemy hero there we go. We didn't even lose... Uh... I don't think we lost any uh, shamans. Ah, oh, we lost one to that piercing shot from the Ballista, though. But you know what? It's worth it. Because we took down... We took down the green hero. You know what? I'm actually going to pull back these guys. I'm going to let green fight blue for a while. Because as I suspected, purple is already sending attacks our way. We need to do the same thing we did. The same thing we just did with green, we need to do with purple. That is to say, we need to get into their base, start smashing some things, and if we can, we need to find a way to take down their hero. These heavily armored units aren't doing so well under the intense fire of this many shamans. Oh, ooh, now blue is coming our way. 
All right, this is getting interesting. But I think I am gonna deal with the purple first. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, uh, I was gonna say that's probably their hero, but no, they've already got generals. Very, very dicey. Very, very dicey. And yeah, I need my hero to get more and more of these dudes. I think that's a good amount. Now that we've dealt with that massive, massive attack. Ooh, their hero is among us. Unfortunately, we don't have a good distribution for our units around him. But if we can take him down... There we go, all three heroes destroyed. Now at least they should lose their hero bonuses and that should slow them down. They'll have a harder time converting mines, etc. And these rune lords as well. Okay. It's gonna be very touch and go. Yeah, dwarves are no joke. Similar to the dark dwarves, they've got catapults. They've got so many units that can hit you at such a long range. They've got eagles as well that can cause their base to just spiral out of control. I think we've got a handle on the situation. Especially if, yes, we've got another uh, crop of uh, Minotaur Shamans uh, being prepared. Alright. While these guys are smashing stuff, they're leveling up too. We'll give them a bit more health, a bit more uh, a bit more speed, a bit more damage. All the good stuff that you would expect from leveling up. Oh, excuse me? What, uh, who, where, where's my base under siege? I'm just gonna, I think we've got enough, uh, Minotaur Shamans, I'm just gonna put my... Your base is under siege. Wait, what? Down here? I, I don't get it, I, I don't know what, what they're talking about. Like, what part of my base is being attacked? I don't know, I don't see it. What I do see is that we are attacking... Okay, something is happening down here. Were they counting the mines as part of my base? Maybe. Next time I see that message, I'll try and... Next time I hear that message, I'll try and see if I can see where the uh, red indicator is, which tells you where on the minimap the thing actually happened. Alright. What I'll do is I'll swing down here, destroy this base, then it's got to be time to take down Blue, because he, he's had a pretty easy time. I know he lost his hero 
pretty early, but since then, it seems like he's just been uh, building and building without a care in the world. And sending stuff our way, because frustratingly, most of the time, if there are multiple enemies on the map, they'll be scripted to attack you and only you, and the only times they'll attack each other are if their armies literally run across each other on the battlefield. So that seems like early on, these guys were close enough that they were getting into some combat, but now there's enough distance between them that they're back to their old annoying habits of only going after me. This time... We're doing okay. We've basically taken care of one enemy. And if we hold our nerve, we can take care of the second enemy too. Something bad is happening down here. A big blue attack has come. Yeah. We... Really need to deal with blue. And even green. Even green, I can see there's... Green blobs on the map moving towards our base, so we need to take care of them as well. But one problem at a time. So let's just, as best as we can, destroy the purple base. Alright. We couldn't fully destroy it because. They're building stuff here, but I think it's time now to focus on blue. What we'll do is we'll destroy all of their bases once each, and then after that, after they're no longer able to send giant armies against us with ease, because we'll have destroyed all of their barracks and a lot of their other. Uh, support uh, infrastructure, then it's a matter of basically it's a whack-a-mole situation where you've got to keep running around the map, destroying bases as you find them, and of course because they've got eagles, that's gonna make this very very frustrating indeed, and I'm gonna keep saving periodically. So if the game crashes, I don't want to be set back. I feel like we've made some really good progress. Base is under siege. What? What are you talking about? No, it's not. Oh, good. Alright, we, we just lost because these guys made their... Uh, or this one red mage made his units immune to fire. So this one pikeman and this one red mage are going to whittle down our entire group of minotaur shamans down to nothing, but hopefully before he does that, hopefully before that happens, we can deal some severe damage to their base. I think Your troops are under attack. we've actually kind of succeeded. And it's not great that we've lost our entire uh, attack squad. Let's quickly ring a fire, pillar of fire, before they all go down. But yeah, it was only a matter of time. Okay. How are we going to deal with? immune units 
is a darn good question. So I'm gonna send this group down now because we need to deal with the green guys. Uh, I don't think there's any way around it. We're gonna need our Minotaur King. Gonna send our Minotaur King. I'm gonna lock him because I really don't want to lose him. Everything except for... You know what? I'm, I'm not going to send my Minotaur King. That, that's a dumb idea. Let's, let's wait until these guys have done their job. It looks like purple and green are not on the same side. That's actually very good news for us. Very good news indeed. Alright. Now we need to take care of green. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, purple has gotten another uh, general all the way to out here. Trying to take our mine. What a what a joker. Your buildings are under attack. Not only do I not want you to take that mine, but I actually want to put some people in that mine. Cause, Cause we need more crystal. Oh, looks like a lot of our fire elementals down there got killed too. So let's try and uh, rectify that a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, sure. Troops are under attack. Oh, this guy is attacking our, our archers. Okay. We've got to be very careful in case we run into more red mages. They are... Your buildings are under attack. Such a hard counter to our strategy that it's actually frightening. Also frightening is catapults. We need to deal with these guys ASAP. Your troops are under attack. Oh, I thought we'd taken care of this knight. Oh no. Okay. All right, let's gather you guys up as well. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, I'm having to manage several things at once. It's giving me flashbacks to that one... Well, I cut it all out, but that one like 90 minute failed attempt fighting uh, dark dwarves. Fortunately, doing a lot better here than there. But the same thing of like as soon as you're done doing one thing, they're already setting up something else. That same frustration is definitely present in this map. Okay. Okay, so the plan is to wreck Green's base and then swing over to the east and continue where we left off, smashing Blue's base. All the while trying not to let our guys get destroyed by catapults because they do area of effect damage. Yeah, I think the way to do it is to go inside first. Go inside first. Oh my god, so many units! Okay, we need a pillar of fire. 
And now we need to take out the units, take out the towers. There are ballistas shooting us. There are towers, there's an elemental coming our way. These guys are no joke. But I think we've done some hefty damage here. So many towers. Garrisoned towers as well. Okay. Okay, we're doing okay. Problem is like these eagles can just fly over the water and build stuff on the other side. And there's very little we can do about it. Alright. But the good news is our plan has kind of worked. We smashed everything to the west. Now we can basically finish off what would have been their initial base. Let's see how these guys are doing. Oh, <laughs> purple is already sending new attacks against us. Good, good job, you guys. Your troops are under attack. All right. Let's carry on with the good work. Ironworks, I don't really need that. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to my guys. Your okay. troops are under attack. I'm gonna send a really big assault. But first, I need to deal with blue the same way I dealt with the others and then after I've dealt with blue we'll okay look at this look at this okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go in we're gonna pillar of fire I think that worked out pretty well Except they've got a catapult way back there, which troops are under is very bad for us. Oh, now we've got to be on the watch out for red mages. Because if there's a red mage here, that's going to instantly ruin this entire plan. Mages are built at these uh, libraries, and I guess I should take the time while we're here to mention that the humans are the only race that have three different generals. They have red mages, white mages, and black mages. Where are our units under attack? Here probably, yeah, probably there. They can have their pick, and in fact, they can get white mages, I think, with only a level 4 keep. Oh, there's that, there's that red mage. Let's see if we can snipe him down. First, let's see if he even uh, comes our way. Yeah, yeah okay. We don't, we don't want him to do that, if that's what's going to happen. No, 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 Stay away from me, dude. Get away from me. Get lost. Oh, he's already made himself immune. But we can... We can do some good stuff. We can destroy more of their buildings. more of their towers. 
I think we can destroy this palace before he kills our guys. Oh, we can kill this archer because he wasn't part of the units that were made immune. All right. Now, what do we do? Your troops are under attack. We send these guys to the south. We station them here. What else do we do? We send these guys here to join up with those guys. We kind of now have to do a three-pronged thing. Oh, our guys stayed alive a lot longer than I would have given them credit for. I did a lot more damage. Alright, I've, I've had it with this red mage. We've done enough damage that... Don't... I mean, this ship has sailed. But if you hadn't been wasting your shots... Attacking that immune red enemy... My Minotaur King... I sent him, right? Okay, yeah, I need to lock him. Because I, I don't want him get, getting killed. Your buildings are under attack. Oh, no, don't... Yeah, uh... Take out this eagle as well. And your... Basically... Oh, you just... Stopped in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Good job, you. Your buildings are under attack. Who is doing what? All right, a black mage is trying to convert that. Well, we can deal with black mages. That's not a problem. It is annoying that we've got to go all the way. Out of our way. All right. Where is this red mage? There he is. Let's take him down. There we go. Two swings is all it took. And while you're here, just smash their base. You can even take start taking their mines. Okay, yep, do that. Good, good. Ah, excellent. Ooh, ooh, destroy this tower before it's built. In fact, destroy all of these buildings. And you guys need to... ...re-destroy the, uh, green base. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Keep destroying their palace. That'll prevent them from... Uh, Building effectively. Oh, oh, oh. Don't get hit by that arrow. Thank you. Okay. Destroy this eagle. Uh, they have eeries out there. So destroying these eagles is going to be more of a band-aid solution until we destroy the thing that's building them. Your troops are under attack. Oops, of course, of course they are. Purple this time is the one that's causing us grief. Oh my god, okay. Go down there, deal with that. 
the rest of you guys. Um, uh, you're gonna have to split into two groups. Three, four guys. God, they're building all over. Okay, so four guys go there. Three guys on the south. Alright. Your troops are under attack. This is going to work. Mark my words. It essentially already has worked. It's just about final Okay, yeah, we need to take down these two e eeries if we have any hope of uh Your troops are under attack. Any hope of stopping these guys early. Although maybe we don't need to stop them early. Maybe you've done a good enough job. So I'm actually going to send my Minotaur King back. Yeah, you've done enough for now. What we need to do is, with you guys... There are four of you there, there are three of you here. So you guys are gonna take this side, you guys are gonna go back and destroy these guys from, you know, the main part of their base. guys gonna do you guys are gonna also split into two groups four will stay outside here the rest of you will be destroying the main part of their base or uh, I think the second time you lose track after a while you really do. But I think we're going into the final cycle. Because we've got enough uh, shamans to actually hold their positions. We took down their annoying red mage. And we're going to slowly take down their Eries, which is where all their stupid flying units are coming from. So what we're going to do is, most of you are now going to go east. Two of you are going to stay behind in case they start building more things. Towers are fine unless they are directly threatening us. Actually, we need to destroy this. Because it's something that they can build rune lords from. Alright, now. We need to go once again. First resignation off the match. Here we go. Alright. Now we just need to do this whole thing two more times. But one good piece of news is that now this entire group can focus on the blue base. Even these guys up here. Your troops are under attack. Yeah, let's make this let's make this count your buildings are under attack uh, who's uh, who's doing what a white mage this time well we've got more guys under attack. waiting uh, we we don't care about their towers so much um, we don't want our guys splitting up too much either. Alright, now I think 
finally. We are about to close the book on this fight. And you know what? I'll I'll, I'll save this. I was gonna I was gonna say something, but I'll wait until after we've won because I don't want to distract myself. What do you What do you think you're doing? Dude, it's over. Let it go. Stop con converting my minds. I've lost. Just like this wouldn't happen in a like a professional serious chess game, right? If a person knows he's losing, he would just resign. And to Green's credit, he did resign, but like we had to destroy his entire base before he did that. Apart from his uh, t like one tower that he had left. Alright, and we need to destroy this eerie. Ooh, and this library. What's happening here? More garbage? Okay. Okay. Now, I think we're at the point where they're out of Eeries. And if we destroy their remaining builders, they won't have anything left. Ooh, Night Lord. Take down that eagle. Are you, come on. Okay, okay. Your troops are under attack. They're rebuilding up there. Well, as long as they don't have Ares. Oh, and there's obviously an eagle building this, so let's deal with that. Let's continue dealing with purple. Because this long, slow process is slowly but surely drawing to a close. Take out that catapult. Okay, alright. And take out their citadel, please. Thank you. Alright, now <laughs> they're building towers of all things. You know, they're building another base up there. That's what we need to take down. Alright. We got this. What about our guys up here? And we need to swing around. And make sure that they're not building anything behind us. There we go, resignation number two. Now we've got all these purple jokers left to worry about. And so we can... Oh, oh, are you... oh what happened here? You didn't realize that you needed to walk around. You just something built an entire tower on the other side of that mine before you guys realized that your shots weren't going through. Okay. Well, how long has that been? More than an hour, I would guess. Well, slightly more than an hour, an hour and uh, five minutes. All right. Okay, so now that we've won, first of all, I want to take a look at my retinue screen. Nobody's died. Good. So now that we're done, I've got a few things to say. 
number one, um, what happened in this match was very reminiscent to uh, that one battle where I had an on-screen message saying that I quit because it was impossible and then we came back as the High Elves and just sniped out all the enemy uh, bases right at the start without even trying to build anything. This was like that, but that was different because that had, uh, I think, four or five different opponents, whereas this one, we had only three. And in that one, they also had a much more favorable geography. And this one, especially for the dwarves, because they had to, like, build on the other side, they were constrained by that. But the point I'm trying to make is that this is the main reason I don't like playing games in this series on high difficulty because if you have it on high difficulty all you end up really is just more of this more of builders wandering around the map putting stuff in random places and you having to take them all down and the stronger the AI is the higher the difficulty is just the more they'll do it, the longer the game will take, and the harder it is to get them to resign. And at a certain point, it stops even being challenging. Like you saw, if you watched uh, all or even most, or even a part of this video, you saw with your own eyes that beyond, let's say, the halfway point of this video, it stopped being a question of can I win, and it's instead became a question of how long will it take for me to slowly chip away at these guys just spewing their eagles all over before they finally resign and that you know not not the most interesting gameplay and i would suspect not the most interesting viewing but i wanted to show it at least once i will say that if this exact scenario happens again that if I've obviously won and it's only a question of slowly taking down all of their eagles, then I will be skipping most of it. But I wanted to show it to you at least once, just so you know what we're dealing with, with this aspect of the game. This is actually pretty good. Three dwarf lords want to join us? Why not? Three Dwarf Lords, uh, I'll go ahead and take them. That's actually really good. Three Generals, plus they're really good at destroying buildings. But yeah, hopefully... Hopefully we'll be able to uh, use them for Sunder Dial. Hopefully we don't have some random... Like, Uprising event or something dumb in between now and then. Because I would really really like to have those uh, Dwarf Lords uh, attacking the uh, capital of the demons. This is actually going to be very, very challenging. But I think ch challenging in a good way. Like, it's going to force us to use different tactics. And I'll talk more about why that is uh, when we actually do it. For now, it's time to call this video to a close. Uh, thank you, uh guys for watching hope you had a good time and i hope you'll uh, join me for the next one where we will be attacking the sundered isle all right so uh until then take care